Hello everyone, Crafty here. Uh, just in advance, I apologize for any background noise. My mother is currently blow drying her hair. Uh, so you might hear some windy noises in the back. I apologize. Um, but today, I have two different Pokemon TCG products to open. Here we have a little Sinnoh themed tin which is super cute. Um, I think it was random. Uh, they chose this one out of, I believe, four different kinds, and I just so happened to get the cute little turt twig with the slumbering Luxray in the back. And then behind that, we have a Glaceon V-Star Special Collection with a really big holographic card, a beautiful promo, and, uh, bunch of packs. It looks like maybe five of them. So that's really cool. I know there's two of them in this one. So without further ado, I guess I will start with this cute little one. So here we have our cute little tin. It's still got some plastic wrapping around the midsection of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start taking the plastic wrap off. Um, hopefully I can do it with just my nails. Uh, it seems like there might be a little perforation right here, maybe? Actually, I don't think that is. Uh, but I will do my best. I, I don't currently have scissors on me, so... Oh dear. <laughs> oh no. It's actually quite strong. Oh no. Oh. And here is what the tin looks like. It's actually kind of holographic a little bit. That's really pretty. And I love that I got the tur twig. And apparently, I was reading on the back, we get... we get a card that features the art on the front of the tin. So we should get a card that has this art as well. It's gonna be really cute. So I'm gonna go ahead open it up. Oh my gosh! Look how big this coin is! What in the world? I've never seen one this big. What? Look at that! Whoops! <laughs> it's just a big Pikachu coin. Pokemon. Very nice. It's got a few little scritchy scratches on it, but that's alright. That's still really nice. Pretty golden color. Oh, this is what they mean by a card. It's literally just a cardstock image. How sweet is that? That is adorable. Is there anything on the back? Oh, how cute! It's like a little Pokedex entry. It undertakes photosynthesis with its body, making oxygen. A leaf on its head wilts if it is thirsty. And I think the other options were Piplup, Riolu, Chimchar, or Munchlax. I'm so happy I got the Turtwig. I wonder if this fits- oh no! It's a teeny bit bent. Aw, oh, that's alright. But I wonder, I don't think it would fit in a standard sleeve. Yeah, it definitely doesn't fit in a sleeve. So I'm just gonna set that, I guess, in the back for now. We'll see what's inside. So first up, we have a fusion strike with a bolt hunt on the front. And then we have a chilling rain with a galarian zapdos. And that's all that's in the tin. Now we just get a nice shiny tin. Go ahead. Put that back together. I'll set that up in the back as well. Hopefully it'll stand up on its own. We're good. Okay. So those are our two packs. And I think I'll start in the order that they came out of the tin. Oops. 
squeaky. <coughs> now let's see if I can try to salvage these uh, foil wrappers. I guess you would call them wrappers. We have a jinx waiting for us. <laughs> so ominous. Oh no. Okay, so I kind of, kind of salvaged it. Oh, shoot. I am so sorry. My mother has decided to make a bunch of phone calls and I, <laughs> I don't want you guys hearing her in the background. So I had to pause for a sec, but I'm back. Um, I also accidentally almost did that before, and I almost did it again. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get those out of the pack. And I don't know... Okay, that's the code card. I'm gonna go ahead and... <laughs> Set that to the side. And I don't know if the card trick is three or four to the front, so I guess we'll try three first. Okay. We begin with a Macargo. Then a little charger bug hanging out in... Looks like a garden, maybe. A judge. There's our Jinx from the front, who scared us as we opened the pack. Look at her eyes! So menacing! We have a very pretty Mantine and a bonus Remoraid right there. Oh! The crocheted Grubbin again! I think we may have gotten this card the last time I did an opening. But it's so, so cute and so well done. I really love the crochet one. We have a Rotom in a lovely watercolor style. Then we have our Smeargle trying to wipe off the paint on their tail in this magical puddle. Our reverse is a Diggersby. Oh, we got a Hollow! We have a Hollow Grim Snarl. That's our rare for the pack. Okay, so it is four to the front, because there's our energy. So I'm going to go ahead, grab a sleeve. Oh, I just realized. The hollow on this is actually... I thought it was just a flat hollow, but it's got these lines going up. Very cool, look at that. We'll set that to the back. And now, our second pack, Chilling Rain. Who's gonna peek through at us? Oh! <laughs> I don't know, I think, is this Urshifu? Or is that the evolution? That's so funny how the first cards of the two packs that were both facing us so that they kind of peekaboo at us when we open the pack. Whoops, got caught on the bottom there. Just slide our code card out. One, two, three, four to the front. And we begin with a fire energy. Caitlin, she almost looks like a jellyfish with her hair. Or a Nihilego. Nih Nihilego? Is that the Ultra Beast? I don't know. 
We have a lucky energy. A Galarian chest plate. So many trainer cards in this one. Kalbfu, not Urshifu. So Urshifu is the evolution, I think. And I'll actually be able to get one of these guys sometime soon because a very generous someone got me uh, a gift card. Or wait, is it a gift card? I think so, like a Nintendo eShop gift card to be able to purchase the Sword and Shield expansion pass finally, so I'll get to experience everything in it and get this little guy too. We have a Hatena hanging out in what appears to be the Glimwood Tangle. Oh, We have a crying Sable working really, really hard to meditate under a waterfall. <laughs> They're so determined. Look at that little face. So cute. Oh, I feel bad for them. <laughs> you can do it, little buddy. Then we have a beautiful bound suite. And it looks like there's supposed to be a rainbow in the background. That is so pretty. I love that one. That is so nice. We have a bunch of Diglett, and I don't quite know what's going on here. It looks like they might be having a race. There's one in the very back who's got this very surprised looking eye. I don't know if these two might be fighting. That one seems to have run into the rock and bumped his head. Oh no! Oh my goodness. Our reverse is a thunderous. And we have a non hollow Galarian Surfetched as our rare. So not too lucky on that one, but we did get one hollow out of it, which is good. And of course we have the adorable tin. I love this tin. So I'm going to quickly gather these up, put them to the side. And now we move on to the Glaceon V-Star Special Edition. It's such a big box. I can hardly fit it on the screen. I can't get all of it, but you see all of the items in it at least, including the V-Star marker up there. So I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to open this with as little damage to the box as possible. Well, I don't know if that's going to be possible, but I will try. An exacto knife would be quite useful right now, but I don't have one. I used to, but I don't know where it went. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. So I did get a little bent on there, but that's okay. on its own anymore. I'll set this to the side. Oops. Gotta move some stuff around. There we go. All right. Looks like... Oh, we've actually got... I am so silly. There are two promos. How did I miss... I don't know how I missed that one. But I, I think it kind of blended in with the big one. Either way, I'm gonna go ahead. Oh, oh dear, I am so sorry. I don't know how you. Oh! I, I guess that's how, never mind. Okay. Let's see, it's always tricky to get these out. Oh! Uh, never mind, I beg to differ. Uh, Alright then, can't complain with that. I'll grab some sleeves. So first, we have a really pretty Glaceon V. Actually, I should have probably showed these off outside of the sleeve, since the sleeve adds a bit of a glare. So there we have our lovely Glaceon V. Holographic eyes, very pretty. I'll grab a top 
top loader for this as well. How do I usually put these in? I think like this. And then I go ahead and give it a little tap, 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 tap. Ah! A little off center. Yeah, that's fine. There we are. And then we have our Glaceon V-Star card, which is equally pretty, also with the holographic eyes. Beautiful, very nice. And it looks like it's actually got, oh, it does. It's got a bit of texture to it in the middle, the background of the middle. Oh no, it's actually all over. It seems like it ends right here. That's really nice. Another top loader. Or I suppose in my case, a, a bottom loader? Because I, I like to put it in through the bottom. And there we are. Next we have our ginormous version of the V-Star, which is also textured. Whoa. Feels nice. It's It's got this weird... It almost reminds me of a, I think, what is it called? A, a Celtic knot, almost? In the way that it looks, you can kind of see right there. Very nice. I have a binder somewhere where I put these guys in big binder sleeves. I'll have to try to find that so this doesn't get dirty. Here is our V star marker, which has this lovely pastel gradient going on in the V. It seems to be an acrylic marker. Ta-da! all of these out. Okay. Unfortunately, the background is no longer very pretty, but it is what it is. So, we do have five packs. First up is a Chilling Rain. Next is Evolving Skies with a Sylveon on the front. I think we have two Fusion Strikes. So we have two Fusion Strikes, two Evolving Skies and a chilling rain. So I think we'll do the chilling rain first and then move on to the others. So there we are, and I'll also get to meet these Pokemon as well. Actually, I think not this one. This one, Spectriere is I think from Sword. I have Shield. But this one I think is in both. It starts with an E. I don't, I don't remember the Pokemon's name very well, but anyway, let's get into the pack. I just dropped it. Why? <laughs> Who is going to greet us this time? <gasps> it's a balance sweep. Hello! <laughs> so funny how that always happens! I wonder if all of the packs are gonna have a Pokemon looking straight at us like that. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. 
we begin with a dark energy moving into justified gloves justified gloves as opposed to unjustified gloves <laughs> gloves when you actually need them in an appropriate scenario i suppose <laughs> another lucky energy porygon 2 floating around i don't know where looks like a pond maybe because it seems like there are some lily pads there's our sweet little bound sweet again. A beautiful Lapras. But I don't like that trainer. I don't like that gym leader. She's annoying. We have our Blitzel again, just standing on the tip of an iceberg for some reason. I, I don't understand why. It, this is not their natural habitat. I have no idea what's going on here. And Aaron! I think we I think we may have gotten all these cards before because they do look kind of familiar. But they're nonetheless adorable. We've got our little Aaron with it looks like a bolt in their mouth. Or a nut? Which one's the nut and which one's the bolt? I've never understood that. But it's a very red room. An adorable winter coat deer in there. Our reverse is a slur puff. With I think those are supposed to be macarons? I like the style on that one. The colored line art is really soft looking. And then our rare is a very scary looking bonnet. And unfortunately not a holographic. I, th they just don't have teeth on top? Huh? <laughs> I'm very confused by this. It seems like there's just no teeth on top. Very strange. So no luck on the first pack. That's all right. We move into Evolving Skies next. <gasps> and we have Pikachu ready to greet us. finds it satisfying, but oh well. Okay. One, two, three, four to the front. And we begin with a fire energy. A bulldor breaking some rocks. An aroma lady in a field of flowers. A moon and sun badge. Interesting. It's something related to Espion and Umbreon, apparently. And there's our sweet little Pikachu in a field of buttercups? Daffodils? I don't know what those are supposed to be. Maybe a special flower that only exists in the Pokemon universe. We have a clay pumpkaboo. That's really neat, too. It's a photograph, it looks like of a little figure. That's really cute. Pumpkin pit? What is that? Stampede? Could you imagine a stampede of Pumpkaboo? Oh my goodness. We have our Rufflet enjoying the cherry blossoms. A Lotad just floating along in, I guess, a pond. I don't know what's on top of it though. There's something right there that I can't quite make out. Oh wait, what am I? That's the back. That's the back of it. There's <laughs> there's the dip in the lily pad and that's just the water and the, gr the ground behind it. I'm so silly. I thought it was a little item sitting there. We have an Amolga. I like that style too. What the heck? That's cool looking. It's very fluid. Our reverse is a gold duck floating along. Kind of an abstract background with little flowers in it. And then our rare. Oh, we got a Glaceon V! How fitting for the box! Oh my gosh! So now we have two Glaceon Vs. We have this one 
which is the promotional one. And then we've got this one. How cool is that? All right, so let me get a sleeve for this one. loader as well. Tap, 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 tap. There we go. We have another Evolving skies. I just realized both of them had Sylveon on the front. Let's see if this one will open as easily as the other one. Oh, I don't think it will. What? What is going on? Oh no! <laughs> nah, this one's giving me some trouble. We have a Chincha waiting for us. examining some fossils with a moderate amount of concern. A rescue carrier. A crystal cave. Very nice. There's our Chin Chow. Relaxing in some arctic waters, or some wintertime waters. A petalil. And I think it's some sort of torrential downpour. Look at how big the the raindrops are. Oh my goodness. I don't know what's going on there. That is that is some wacky rainfall. A Dano screaming for some reason. <laughs> Why does he scream? Oh, call for family. Oh, He's looking for his family. Poor little Dano. We have a teddy ursa hiding in the flowers and licking nectar off of their paw, maybe? I'm not sure. We have a Phoebus thankfully avoiding the fishing hooks, which appear to just be pokeballs on hooks. Okay, that's not nearly as bad as normal ones. I guess the idea is they probably just boop their snoot on the pokeball, the pokeball goes pew, and they get sucked in. It's actually not too bad. Our reverse is a pincer getting ready to punch the heck out of us. And we have a non-hollow flapple as our rare. So again, not too much luck on that one. But that's okay. I wonder if we'll get a full art in one of these. We have three left. Or two? Two left. Whoops. Oh gosh. <laughs> one of the sleeves just got stuck to my elbow because I was leaning on it. All right. Last two are fusion strikes. These are getting trickier to open for some reason. We have a pansier waiting to say hello. Oh no. <laughs> Just ripped the heck out of this, uh, wrapper? I don't know if they're called wrappers, I assume. These things. Okay. One, two, three, four. We begin with a fighting energy. A low bunny giving a very big kick. Yeah. And then we have immediately 
Hariyama getting ready to just absolutely pummel someone. A sweet breloom. So cute. I'm so glad they're coming back for Scarlet and Violet. They haven't been in a game in a long time. Feels like. Unless they're in Sword and Shield in the DLC. In which case, I guess I'm not entirely correct. I'll see when I play it. And then we have our Pansier who created us at the beginning. Seems like getting a bunch of, what is that, citrus berry? I think? A Krogunk. Just kind of hiding in the shade. A Gumi. Gazing upward into the ivy. An Aracuda. Just sitting there in the water. Just chilling. I forgot this Pokemon existed. Oh, we've got a Snubble. With some laundry in the back. That's really pretty. A lot of pastel colors. Very nice. Snubble is so underappreciated. I really like the shiny. It's one of my favorite ones. Our reverse is a Galarian Taramaka, which seems to be either waving at us or reaching out for help, maybe. And then we have another non-hollow <laughs> rare. Just a palisand with, it seems like, possibly a tsunami coming in to just completely decimate them. I don't know why they're not crawling away or doing something. They're just sitting there ready to take it head on, I guess. I don't know. Oops. Alright, we have one last chance to get something better than what we've gotten so far. So our final pack is another fusion strike with a Genesect on the front. We have a Vulpix! So cute! Oh, oh gosh, that was the worst one yet! starting to shine directly on me. We start with a darkness energy, or a dark energy. A cute little Dunsparce, seeming to be crawling through a cave, I think, or a tunnel. The underground. We have a dancer, a pangoro, sitting on top of a cliff, looking, uh, what sword? Just, just edgy. Oh, I didn't realize the Vulpix is doing a little flamethrower, it looks like. A Mankey hanging around. Galarian Zigzagoon. A Cloncher. I don't, I don't know if it's doing an attack out of its claw. Seems to be. A sweet Growlithe, look how cute. Shaped like a friend, so sweet. Our reverse is a Heliolisk, and let's see what we have for the final one. Please be a hollow. Please at least be a hollow. Are you kidding me? What a bummer! We only got one good card out of all of these. What the heck? A Vigavolt. Just, just no, no hollow, just a regular vehicle. Yeah. Well, we didn't have tremendously good luck today. However, we did get one good card, which just so happened to be completely perfectly in line with the theme of the box that we got it out of. So that's kind of interesting. Um, let me move some things around real quick. Everything is such a mess. Oh no. I've got so many cards, so many wrappers. I've got to find a better way of organizing everything. Look at all these. Look at this. Where's my Grim Snarl? Where did it go? Oh, I forgot to put that in a top loader too. I might as well. 
It is a hollow after all. I think I used to put all my hollows in them. Pretty sure. Okie dokie. So. Out of, what was it, seven packs? We got a regular hollow and the V, a V card. V Max? V Star? I, I don't, I don't know what it's supposed to be. A Glaceon V and a Hollow Grim Snarl alongside the two promotional Glaceons. Glaceon V and Glaceon V Star. Okay, V Star is different than V. Gotcha. So, all in all, not great pulls, but we did get something good at least. So that's cool. And it's fitting. So I guess that adds bonus points. Anyway. And then of course we have our ginormous promotional one. So big, so shiny. And I love the texture too. It's cool to run your finger over it. Because you can actually feel it's beveled, I think. No, not beveled. I I can't word today. I don't know what the word is, but it's it's raised, so you can actually feel it. But anyway, so that is everything I have today. Thank you so much again to the individual who got these for me. I think I think this was Petrie. So thank you very much, Petrie, for getting me both of these. And uh yeah, now I gotta clean all this up. <laughs>